Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the internal resistance in a power supply. Now, we're going to uh, talk about the internal resistance in a simple cell, represented by that. Now, if we're to put a voltmeter across a simple cell, a new simple cell, we should find that we get a reading of EMF, E, so we're measuring it's known as the EMF, we take it straight across the cell. The EMF is equal to 1.5 volts. That's the, um, the EMF supplied from the cell, the potential difference. Now, that's all very well, but if we then replace the voltmeter by a resistance, this resistance is often known as a load, and then put the voltmeter across the uh, resistor, V here, we should really expect by um, by circuit theory, that the voltage should be 1.5 volts. But it rarely is. In fact, you may find out that the voltage has dropped to 1.2 volts, where you expected 1.5 volts. And similarly, if you were to then take the voltmeter and put it across the cell, you'd also find that the, the potential drop across the cell has also re reduced to 1.2 volts. Now this is this is very strange. This is not what theory, circuit theory that that uh, that we've done um, would suggest. And this is due to internal resistance. And the internal resistance is noted by the letter R. Now the lost volts, of course, the lost volts here is equal to 0.3 volts. So somewhere we have lost 0.3 volts. And where we have lost it is in this internal resistance. And it is represented by a small resistor there. It's as if there was a small resistor in the cell. Of course there is not. The internal resistance uh, is caused by the flow of electricity through the cell and, and heating effects. Um, and so that was labelled little r, and this here, the load, is labelled big R. Now, how does this all work? Well, let's look at it from looking at potentials. Now, the cell produces a potential drop, potential difference of 1.5 volts. So, at this side here, we must have 1.5 volts. And on this side here, we still have 0 volts potential there. Now if we trace this round to here, there's no potential drop through the wires, there's effectively no resistance, so we'll still get a potential drop, potential rather, of 1.5 volts here. But on this side of the resistor here, we're not going to drop the full 1.5 volts. We are, we're only going to drop 1.2 volts. So on this side here, and I'll use a different colour, we will have 0.3 volts and therefore we follow that round here we will have 0.3 volts here and then we need to drop it to naught so we drop it from 0.3 volts across there so this is the, the lost voltage the lost potential drop is from there across this internal resistor okay I'll rub this out and, and start with a fresh page so here we have our diagram. This is our cell. This is the internal resistance R. This is the load. And we're going to put in here an ammeter. We're now going to measure the current. So let's say what we got so far. What have we established so far? We've established that the EMF is equal to 1.5 volts. We've established that 
the potential drop across here, V here, establish that V was equal to 1.2 volts, and we have established the potential drop across the internal resistance is 0.3 volts. This is the lost voltage, and we're going to put all this into a box because we cannot actually separate um, the cell from the resistor. Let's make that box a little bit straighter. So we can see by um, by, by by the addition of, of potentials that the EMF must be equal to the voltage across there, V, plus the voltage across there. Now, the voltage across there is 0.3 volts, so 0.3, that's V times R, that's will be our current going through there, and we know that V equals current times the resistance, so therefore that can be written as V plus the current through there plus little r. So we see this is the voltage across the load, and this IR um, represents the, uh, the voltage across the internal resistance. So, let's say we were, to re we were to make a reading from the ammeter, and we were to find that the current through there, the current, was equal to 0.4 amps. So with this information now, okay, and the fact that these are our lost volts here, we know that the lost volts IR equals 0.3 volts. If current is 0.4, therefore 0.4 times R equals 0.3. Therefore, the internal resistance is equal to 0.75 ohms. Okay, let's rub this out. Now, you may see in um, former booklets or data booklets the various formulas associated uh, with the internal resistance, and I'll draw it again to help you see where the formula comes from. So we have Internal resistance R, the, the EMF, the voltage across the load, and in here we have, um, this is our ammeter, and we have, this is flowing through here, is our current. So formulas that we have from here are EMF is equal to V, plus IR. Also, you can write EMF is equal to I times, this is the resistance of the load, R plus IR.